In this tutorial, you will learn how to design a high point gear drive in Blender. High point gears are similar to bevel gears, but the shaft axes of a high point gear pair do not intersect. High point gears offer higher gear ratios, better efficiency and sturdier mounting options. Conceptually, a high point gear pair can be represented by two touching cones, called reference cones. Strictly speaking, the reference surfaces for the high point gears are hyperboloids, but cones provide a reasonably accurate approximation. A high point gear drive can be defined with as few as four parameters. The median radius of the larger wheel, denoted by the letter R. The distance between the gear axes, called high point shift, denoted by the letter E. The number of teeth in the pinion and wheel, denoted by the letter Z1 and Z2. We have developed an online calculator which takes these parameters as the input and calculates the tooth profiles equations, transformation scripts, spiral angles and other parameters necessary to design a high point pair quickly. This calculator can be found at www.vinted.com slash highpoint.html. The modeling sequence for a high point pair, described in this tutorial, is as follows. Model a flat involute outline for the pinion, using the parametric equations provided by the calculator. Turn it into a flat surface by bridging the gear outline with a circle. Transform this flat surface into a bowl shape using a simple Python script provided by the calculator. Place the 3D cursor at the apex of the reference cone. Duplicate the surface and scale it down relative to the 3D cursor. The scaling factor and the location of the 3D cursor is provided by the calculator. Bridge the two surfaces together. Using the spiral angle parameter provided by the calculator, curve the teeth of the pinion. Repeat the same procedure for the wheel. Position the pinion relative to the wheel according to the shift parameters from the calculator. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Press 7 on the numeric keypad to switch to the top view, and 5 to switch to the orthographic mode. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Go to User Preferences, and in the Add-ons tab, make sure the checkbox Add Mesh, Extra Objects is checked. Go to the online high point gear calculator at www.hotvinted.com slash highpoint.html. Enter 10 for the number of teeth on the pinion, 41 for the number of teeth on the wheel, 90 for the median wheel radius, and 30 for the high point shift. Then press calculate. Back in Blender, press shift A, select mesh, math function, XYZ math surface. Copy the X and Y equations from the calculator to the corresponding boxes in Blender. Enter 0 for the Z equation. Enter 0 for U min and 1 for U max. Enter 10 for U step. Uncheck the U wrap check box. Since we are not going to be using the V parameter, Enter 0 for V min and V max, and 1 for V step. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. Press the Remove Doubles button in the Tools panel. Create a mirror image of the curve relative to the X axis by pressing Shift D to duplicate, then S, then Y, then negative 1, then Enter. In the calculator, copy the tooth thickness at base value to the clipboard. Back in Blender, Rotate around the Z-axis by the angle value stored in the clipboard by pressing R, then Z, then Ctrl V, then Enter. To create the tip of the tooth, select the two top vertices and press F to connect them. Select everything, duplicate and rotate by 36 degrees around the Z-axis to create a second tooth. 36 is 360 divided by the number of teeth in the pinion, which is 10. Select these two vertices, press Shift S and select cursor to selected. 
deselect the top vertex, and press the spin button. Enter 16 for steps and 180 for angle. Select everything and press remove doubles. Press Shift C to return the 3D cursor to the default location. To duplicate the teeth, press the spin button. Enter the total number of teeth for steps, check the dupli button and enter 360 for angle. Select everything and press remove doubles. In the merge distance box, remove 10 after the decimal point to go from 0.00001 to 0.001. Select everything and note the number of vertices in the geometry. There are 370 vertices. Add a circle. Enter 374 vertices. Scale it up until it almost touches the gear outline. Select everything. Press W and select bridge edge loops. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Open a new window in Blender and select text editor for window type. Press the new button. In the online calculator, press the show pinion script button. Copy and paste the script from the calculator to the text editor window in Blender. Press the run script button. In the calculator, copy the cone base to apex hide value to the clipboard. Back in Blender, paste this value to the Z coordinate of the 3D cursor. The X and Y coordinates should be 0. In the calculator, copy the top bottom scaling factor value to the clipboard. Back in Blender, enter the edit mode and select everything. Duplicate and scale by the value stored in the clipboard by pressing Shift D, then S, then Ctrl V, then Enter. Select the outer rows of vertices on both pieces and apply bridge edge loops. To curve the teeth, use the loop cuts tool by pressing Ctrl R. Use the mouse wheel to set the number of cuts to 7, which corresponds to 8 divisions. Deselect the top tier of vertices. In the calculator, copy the spiral angle per division value to the clipboard. Back in Blender, rotate around the Z axis by the angle stored in the clipboard by pressing R, then Z, then Ctrl V, then Enter. Deselect the next tier from the top, and rotate. Repeat for all remaining tiers. To turn this geometry into a manifold object, extrude the top inner rim of vertices downwards, make it flush with the bottom inner rim. Select everything and press Ctrl and to fix the normals. Bridge the gap at the bottom. Our pinion is ready. To model the wheel, follow the same procedure but this time copy the equations from the wheel tooth profile boxes, and all other values from the right column of the calculator. Use the system calculator to compute the angle between two adjacent teeth by dividing 360 by 41.
To curve the teeth of the wheel, we will use four loop cuts, which corresponds to five divisions. In the calculator, change the number of division from 4 to 5 by pressing the plus button. We will postpone turning this geometry to a manifold object till later. Make sure the 3D cursor is in the origin. Rotate the wheel around the x-axis by 90 degrees. Rotate the pinion around the y-axis by a negative 90 degrees. Move the pinion along the x, y and z axes according to the calculator values pinion x shift, pinion y shift and pinion z shift. Select the pinion, press Shift S, and select cursor to selected. Rotate the pinion around the X axis until the two gears no longer overlap in space. Now complete the wheel by turning it into a manifold object. The 3D printed physical model of this design works smoothly, as shown here. And that concludes our tutorial.